First of all, I'll tell you what we're going to do this morning. We are going to burn a heretic. Huh? We are going to burn a heretic. We're going to burn somebody to death. What is a heretic? No idea. Uh, different. What did you say? Different. Different. Great. You. Yeah. It's you. No, no. It's exactly you. It's somebody who dissents. It's somebody who dares to think differently. Me. I was a heretic. Um, I come from a family of heretics. Uh, my family were Quakers, who were the people who were punished at the end of the 17th century because they refused to remove their hats to important people. And, and you're, make, you're making the, exactly the same gesture now by keeping your hat on in class. OK, great. We're understanding it. So for Catholics who were controlling England at the time, this person is a heretic. For a Protestant, what are they? What's the other word we use for somebody who sacrifices themselves to death? Martyr. Martyr. They would call them martyrs. We'll go down now and do the most horrible thing that a human being can do to another human being. OK, ladies and gentlemen, in England, in the middle of the 16th century, that's the time just before Shakespeare, this was done to 500 people. The reason everybody that's stinking is we put pork fat and the actual rind on to give you the sense of what it would have been like with human flesh. The burnings in England took a long time. The real problem in the 16th century was they didn't have gas underneath. In the 16th century, wood... <laughs> there you are. Now, Henry, come and tell me, what's it like being burned? It hurts. it hurts. Imagine, what happened to this man was they just got the fire going and the flames came up and singed everything up to his crutch. And then the flames went out and he prayed, Lord God Jesus, have mercy upon my soul, and they lit another fire. And the fire rose higher and burned up to the waist, and he prayed louder and louder, and then it singed his hair, burned him all over, burned his hair off, and then the fire went out again. This is half an hour. And then he cries, more fire, good people, more fire. And they light a third fire like this, and this is what happened, and I'm quoting the third fire was kindled a while after, which was more extreme than the other two. In this fire he prayed with a loud voice, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And these were the last words that he was heard to utter. But when he was black in the mouth and his tongue so swollen that he could not speak, look, the flames are going up to the head now, yet his lips, until they were shrunk to the gums, kept moving. And then he knocked his breast with his hands until one of his arms fell off. And then he knocked still with the other whilst the fat, water and blood dropped out at his fingers' ends until, by renewing the fire, his strength was gone and his hand clay fast in knocking to the iron, you can see it there, upon his breast. And then immediately bowing forward, he yielded up his spirit. Thus he was three quarters of an hour in the fire. This is what people do in the name of religion. What's the equivalent now to this? When they, like, blow up yeah, blow, yeah. He's, he's blowing up. Like people like, like people oh, that did, like, oh, London bomb. bombers and that. They the London bombers. bombers. What's another incident? Uh, twin Towers. The Twin Towers.